Hey, hey everybody, this is Larry. This is me here in Khan Khan near Winter de Mar. Actually, I don't know if this is part of Winter de Mar, but I'm here in, in Chile anyway. As you can see, I am in a sand dune, uh, hoping to not fall to my death, which is always a lifelong goal of mine. Um, yeah, now that we know we can do hard things, let's do hard things, all right? That said, my stock market, my stocks has not been doing well the last couple of days. Uh, have not been looking at it, which made it good, but still. Uh, and I don't know. Maybe I can ask, what is the best time to buy, sell, buy and sell stock? You know. Anyway, let's take a look at today's problem. Twenty five seventy three. Best time to buy and sell stock. Five. All right, you give an injury away prices. Uh, where prices to buy is the uh, price to buy on ninth day. You allow that most make at most k transaction where each one is either buy on i and then sell on a later j okay so you could sell at any time j um short selling okay i mean so this is like the general i feel like they all you know um uh in on lead code there there's always been the other ones right like well i mean this is the fifth one so you have like you know buy in stock one and then buy in stock or uh, you know two buy two furious sell stock i don't know whatever right my point is that there's been other ones but they don't allow short selling and this one actually makes it a little bit easier right because then now um it, it, the way that i always think about it is just separating out the um there's the states and also just like what um kind of almost like putting the vocabulary oh there you go i'm making it brighter so i can actually see more um like what what are you wanting to do with the function right and here um maybe the the way that i, I structure it usually um or i mean not usually like i solved it but like variation on this problem is that i can write um maybe like can buy or short right um you know we'll, we'll fill it out later right but these are uh, kind of like how i set it up and then like okay uh can sell and this is like you know we if we bought, bought, we can sell one now, um, you know, and then maybe if we sold, sold short, we can buy one back, right? Um, and then that's it, really, right? Because here you can buy or short, like you said, you know, I mean, it is what it sounds like. I think this one's actually the most easy one to do, right? And then now you just have need a day number. And I think that's it. Um, because all these things are technically speaking agno uh, agnostic with respect to price, right? Meaning that if you could sell, it doesn't matter how much you bought it for, you can just sell it, right? If you have a stock. So I think that's it. And then now you, you would just re uh, return can buy or short day zero, right? And that's it. Of course, you slap the memorization on top. Uh, I have to get back to a place where I will explain this a little bit better, the, the memorization part or the DP part. But me traveling is not going to be that day, so my apologies. Uh, I probably did, I mean, I, I imagine I, this is a contest problem from not that long ago. Um, and I probably have a better explanation there, maybe, maybe not, I don't know. Uh, check that out, though. Uh, but yeah, um, yeah. And then now we could buy or short, right? So if day is greater than you go to N, then we just return. Uh, do we have to buy it back at the end? Oh, oh, I missed something. I missed the K, but that's okay. We could add in the K later. Uh, I mean, I didn't really change anywhere. Oh, what I want to see is like, can you N? Like, for example, can you just sell and not buy it back? I guess that's like the thing I'm trying to figure out. Um, so here we will we'll just return zero. I mean, this one doesn't change this one because, um, I mean, because you know, you don't own anyone, you don't own a stock or whatever, but I wonder like, I mean, you could also buy a stock and not sell it, but that would not be, pro you know, uh, maximum profit. It doesn't actually say, unless I'm mistaken it, 
uh, it doesn't actually say that you can't do that. But uh, for now, I would assume that you cannot do that because that seems like a, I don't know. And if that's a gotcha, then I hate you, lead code. But I mean, I don't know. I mean, I can say that I have considered it, though, right? So it's not like, you know. Uh, yeah. Okay, so transaction. <clears throat> okay, so the way that they phrase it, I, I'm curious because, you know, this is not quite how a transaction works, is that a transaction, one transaction is buying it and then selling it, right? So two actions, if you will, is one transaction, even though technically speaking, at least my booker, my bookage, you know, calls it two transactions because they charge me twice for fees. So <laughs> I don't know. Oh, Bucky. Um, so I don't know. They call it one transaction. Fine. I just want to be clear uh, about this. <laughs> uh, yeah. So, but that means that we can also just put the transaction here, right? Like here, we don't really worry about, I mean, we still need to care about K, of course, but we don't have to worry about uh, decrementing or whatever. So here we can write, if K is greater than zero, well, I mean, maybe you just return the other thing. If K is zero, just return zero because you already ran out of transaction. It doesn't really matter. Uh, but that's only if it comes in, right? Because if K is equal to zero here, we can still sell it because we should sell it even, right? And then now we can just do the three things, right? Buy, sell, Nothing, right? Uh, idle, I guess. I don't know. Right, so then here, maybe we just pass this. You go to idle. We, I don't know. I just like to write it this way. Right. Um, just to set it as the default thing. And also because um, we don't have to do the other thing uh, of because K is, if K is equal to, uh, or greater than you go to, if we have transactions left, we can buy, right? And buy. Um, Oh, I guess the way that I see, okay. I think one thing that I would say is that um, the the I was like, oh, there's, it's ambiguous because you could buy and without selling or selling without buy. But I guess if they kind of group them as one transaction, then um, then you can't do that because then you can't do half a transaction, I suppose. Okay, fine. But again, that uh, I, I still have a little bit of a hard time to, uh, understanding that because that's not how you you know define transactions. I don't think. Uh, I mean, you could define transactions however you like, but, you know, the, uh, I don't know. Like I said, they keep on charging me some stuff, so I don't know. Anyway, okay, buy. Um, okay, so that means that best is you go to max, best, and then we go to cancel, right? Because we bought, um, we go day plus one, we go K minus one, uh, and then we get them. We, well, actually, we not lose, but we pay for it. So price is up day. Sell, uh, sell short, that is. Um, can buy and buy back if you want to call it that. Uh, okay, fine. I, I mean, uh, as someone who is pedantic about the, the definitions, maybe I am a little bit awkward. But yeah, but that's it, you know. And then buy, uh, I mean, you know, we can sell, we can, let's do, 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 do. Uh, we won't say that if we, if we still in the can sell state, that means that we still have to stock at the very end. We just want to return negative infinity something really big so that we we know that we don't want that to happen right um and then otherwise we can either uh sell or not sell right and then uh, we could just even we do this directly maybe maybe i'm a little bit lazy i don't know you can sell day plus one k or you can um actually sell which takes you back to can buy or short Day plus one, still K, okay, but then now because you sold, um, you get the money back, right, for today. And that's it, right? Uh, dude, let's, I mean, this is basically the same idea, but in the other, other opposite. Oops. And somehow I still make a mistake. <laughs> uh, but, you know, yeah. Uh, buy back or not buy. Right, same thing, right? Really? Uh, and of course, um, if you really, you know, uh, this is just the way that I, I prefer to do it because it's easier to kind of separate out the logic, etc. But you kind of see, uh, you know, there's some dry opportunities uh, or like, you know, uh, to for these two, right? <coughs> um, oh, did I miss the K thing? Yeah, well, oh, yeah, because I just added it in here. But uh, yeah, you could see that they are like duplicate code. Duplicate e code. 
um, here and even here if you want to really go. Um, and you could kind of like merge them into the same state, right? So, or say, I mean, they're kind of like one more dimensions and you can write that in different ways, implementation wise. But this is the way that I like it because, well, you can say it in English easier and it's just easy to understand, right? Uh, okay, let's give a quick submit. Hopefully I don't uh, run into silly mis Memory limit exceeded. Did, I, did it happen last time? I guess last time I was not sloppy. Uh, eh. I and mean, this is a very lead code e um, trick. I don't know that I recommend it, but uh, I mean, I guess you know, I I am implicitly recommended it. But uh, I don't know. It's just lead code being silly. I don't think that much of it. But yeah. Um, eh. Either way, though, uh, that's all I have for today. Uh, oh, I, I didn't go over complexity. I suppose. Um, yeah, let's go over complexity really quickly. Um, here, I mean, this is an over, uh, in the inside of the functions O of 1, where we only make three function calls, they're O of 1 functions because they're cached. So that means that, uh, you know, we have day is equal to n, k is just k. So this is going to be O of n times k uh, number of inputs. Each input takes O of 1. So this is O of n times k time. Same thing about space. So, uh, you could say time and space, I suppose. Uh, and then, yeah, that's basically the idea there. Same, except, uh, yeah, pretty much exactly the same, actually. Here, so you can copy and paste for these two if you like. Um, and since we only have three of them, so it's three times n times k, which is obviously in a big old notation, O of n times k. And that's it. That's all I have for this one. Let me know what you think. Thanks for watching. If it's a little bit rush, my apologies. I got to start packing. I am procrast. I, mean, I didn't procrastinate per se. I just got home really late from my uh, my my day trip. So yeah, thanks for watching. Stay good. Stay healthy. To your mental health. I'll see y'all later and take care. I don't know why that's a bye bye. I'm like, it's more like I'm like, do 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 do. I don't know. Anyway, stay good. Stay healthy. To your mental health. I'll see y'all later and take care. Bye bye.